James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is October 10th, 2023, 8.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, we've had two M-class solar flares early today. We had an M1.59 solar flare to start the day right around 2 to 2.30 UTC time. And then we've had a follow-up that's just ending as we speak. It looks like about a 2.06 M flare. Started around 12.30. It looks like it ended around 13.30 UTC time. Let's get on and see what happened and where these came from. Now, over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. Let's see what kind of x-rays hit our planet. This is the C portion of the M flare. And I will show you what I mean by that. And that moves right into the M flare, the M 2.06, 2.09, depending on your source. Most of that was over Africa and the Atlantic. That just occurred this moment and just dissipated. The first M flare was over what we call the east, the east, i.e. the Philippines, i.e. Indonesia, uh, parts of Australia, etc. And here we jump back to our GOES X-ray flux so we can see that first C flare there moving slightly down into the M flare. Again, it's just dissipated, but we will be able to see that on SOHO or GOES. Headed over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. It looks like all the activity, both, both M flares, were generated by Sunspot AR3451 and the AR3452, both here on the limb. Uh, somewhat earth facing but not promising as far as an earth directed component although we did see the x-rays on our x-ray flux and we did see the radiation hit on our d-region absorption prediction center so it definitely has to have some sort of earth component real quickly here on go solar ultraviolet imager we need to talk about this crawl hole it was earth facing about 48 hours ago so i would expect to see some solar winds an uptick not a very long period of solar winds because it was vertical not horizontal so it was earth facing for a short period of time less than less than six hours for sure now headed over to lasco c3 we don't see the m flare of the top right like we should right here at to UTC time, although it looks like there's an impact right when there should be on Lasco. And then the other very strange thing is, is really before, look how big this flare is coming out of the left side. There are sunspots coming around the limb, but this is not one of the solar flares that is being reported. This happened before the M2.06, 2.09, depending on your source. It was actually on the other side of the sun. We will take a look at the sunspots coming around, but this was not picked up by our GOES X-ray flux. And it was really not picked up by our uh, D-Region Absorption Prediction Center either. We will take a look. All right, this is all the activity being reported from our star. Uh, as of today, UTC time, we had a couple of C flares, C4.1, 4.6, and we had that M1.5. We had that C2 at 6.30. Now, I think we have some information missing that hasn't been added. Definitely the M2.06, 2.09 has not been added yet. Over to HMI and Tentagram, we can see that 34, 51, and 52 are just about around the limb, but not quite. We could have an Earth component, but I don't think it will be any type of lights out event. Taking a quick look at NOAA's KP Index Breakdown Forecast, October 10th, 11th, and 12th, 2023. 
They've got nothing going on whatsoever. The biggest they expect is a 3.0, nowhere near any type of geomagnetic disturbance. I think they better rethink if that coronal hole was real and uh, Earth facing 48 hours ago. We should see a pretty good uptick in solar winds today or through tomorrow. So I think that's going to go a lot higher than the 3.0, but let's let time tell. So this is a great look at the coronal hole, very much up to date. Uh, 10, 10, 14 UTC time, STO, AIA, 211 angstroms. Again, these solar winds should be hitting Earth today if they already haven't, but I don't see them on the charts. Jumping over to Soho, 284 angstroms. You can see that crawl hole here. This was taken at, see, 8.06 last night, central time here in the U.S. And you can see all the large crawl holes coming around the backside. We'll take a look at the backside and see what's going on here. Surprised that this earth-facing sunspot here has not given us any trouble. And there it is. 3451 and 3452, they've almost morphed together. All right, taking a look at the back side of the sun. This is the front side of the sun. This is the back side of the sun. It looks like we have 075 that probably produced that large flare. It looked like an X flare to me. Probably going to be named at some point later today. We also have an orange 065 to the south. Another huge sunspot. 077 and south of that 078. But we can see that it's a pretty large group of sunspots, although there's nothing really trailing. So if we can get through this next bunch uh, without any huge problems, we might have a day or two of rest. With that said, we're having another C flare as we're doing this video, as you can see on the far right here. Uh, so this could go higher. It could level off. We could have several more M flares today. I'm actually going to have to shower up and go down to the Houston Medical Center for another procedure today. And we'll be back hopefully tonight to go live with you guys to say howdy. With that said, guys, if you can afford to, buy us a cup of coffee or two. That uh, description's in the reply to the first comment and also in the description itself of the video. Please share our videos. Please subscribe and always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world. God bless you all.